All right, guys, we just got done putting everything together. Let's take this off. Okay, let's close that down, and let's get the rest of the table cleaned up real quick. So what we're going to do, again, let's make sure all the small screws... Whoops. Whoa. Okay, hold on a second. I need to get the right tweezers here. So let's get the right tweezers, and we're going to put all these... And save these, guys. If you get these screws, save them. I promise you, start building up your library of screws, and you will be able to do some installs much easier. Um, so let's put all these aside here. Okay. There we go. Now we'll go for the Vista. Okay, now let's see if I can clean up this table any better. Oh, I'm gonna, there we go. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So here's our here's our quad now, and it's looking gorgeous. It really is. Um, uh, like I said, on the original one that I flew, I set the um, I set the screw to the middle piece here, so you can move this camera back. But um, for this particular one, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to move it forward so I could see what it would be like. All right, everything else is set up here fine. So now we have a few things that we need to tend to. We have a, an antenna that needs to be tucked down here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We have a, we have a um, capacitor that needs to move up. So here's what we do with that. We basically push the antenna down, okay? And we bring the, we bring the uh, capacitor up and we bring the antenna around it, just like that, okay? And then you can just gently move it back and there you go. Now you've got the you've got the antenna wire around here, so it's not this isn't dangling anymore, okay? And you've got the caddx, I mean, and you've got the capacitor around up. So again, wind it around and bring it up, and you've got everything looking great, just like that, all right? So take your time. If that's how you want to do it, it'll look good. And then you still got a way to put your battery right here without any problems, all right? So that takes care of that there, all right? And and that was the main reason that I I put this back piece on. Is I didn't want it to, um, I didn't want this antenna to have to have a zip tie if it wasn't necessary. All right, so now we need to get down to the next part of this, which is going to be putting on the prop guards. So pay attention to this, because so as you'll see, these prop guards are actually cut in house. I have to cut them to make them fit, okay? Because no prop guard comes ready to fit this build because the build is so tiny. So you're going to see that it's been cut, and. There's only one way these can fit, all right? So uh, let me look at how I did this. If you look at your prop guards here, and this is where you're gonna have to pay close attention, okay? If you look at these two right, there's gonna be two identical. So look at these two right here. Do you see how there's this middle brace and then there's two perfect, uh, two holes right here where the middle brace is centered between the two. See, if you look at this one, there's only one hole, right? Is, if you look at the way this is, where this brace is to the opening, it's only one hole. Right, and if you look at this one, where the brace is to the opening, there's only one hole. Okay, but then you'll see these two. And I'll put these on the on the table so you can maybe see them easier. If you look at these two, here's the brace, and here's two holes centered, and here's the brace, and here's two holes centered. Okay, when you have the two holes lined up with the brace, those are the front ones. Okay, and if you'll notice here, on this side, there's a shaved piece. And on this side, there's a shave piece. The shave piece on the left goes to the left front. The shave piece on the right goes to the right front. And I promise you, if it sounds weird, when you start doing this, you're gonna find there's only one way it can be done. So just be patient, but here's how you're gonna do it, okay? So now, because you've taped your motor wires down, you could unscrew one motor at a time, just like this. The motor's not gonna go anywhere, okay? Now, this is what I wanna verify, though. So let's see, we're gonna start with motor four, okay? So follow along with me, stay in that order if you can. What I wanna do is I wanna make sure that the screws that they gave us, these longer screws are not too long. If they are, then that means we're gonna include a set. So let me just see, that is super long, but now let me put the prop guard on it. And I think I'll do the prop guard. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go underneath it or on top. Let me just check. So if I put this here and I put this here, let's see how much material it's how much screws left I think that's still gonna be long but let me just test it real quick actually it's perfect oh my gosh it is beyond perfect now one of the things I will tell you is I only use two screws when I build this there's no need to use four I don't have a need to use four and so I will tell you that the two that I want you to use um, will be the following look you can do Take two of the long screws, okay? Let me dump these out here real quick, okay? So you have one, two, three, and four. There you go. 
All right, I'm gonna go, I guess you can cross them if you want, but I'm gonna go this route. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here in a second. I just wanna look at this come through. Let's see, okay, okay. So if you wanna use all four, you can, but I only use two and it's been perfect with just two. And the two that I use are gonna be cross cornered this way. So, and I'll explain to you why, sorry, I'm just kind of putting this on here so I can have something to show you properly. Okay. All right. Okay. I want you to look at this here and I want you to see, okay. Right here, oh, you can't see that. Right there is a black wire, right? It's part of the wiring for these motors. I do not like to go into that screw spot right there that the wire runs over. I just don't. Why? Because I don't. That's why. No other reason than I don't. You can, sure, all day long. You can go ahead and do that. I go for this one right here, okay? And I go for this one right here, okay? I go these two. But if you want to go all four, be my guest to go all four. You won't damage it. But I'm only going two screws. You pick the two you want. I try to go this route, okay? So let me zoom out. And I guess if you want to go all four, you can. I mean, it's, it's your choice. I just got really used to only doing two uh, screws on my builds. Um, but there you go. If you want to do all four, you can. And you have, there's, these screws are the perfect length with these prop guards. So you're golden. And there's absolutely nothing to worry about there. So there's one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> coincidentally, I put the front left one, I mean, the front right one on the front left. So that's my bad. Let me go ahead and fix that real quickly. My apologies. I am, I am glad though that those screws are the perfect length. So let me go ahead and just fix that up real quick. This, this one, see how it's, it's cut here. This actually goes on the right side. This goes on the left side. So that's, I don't know if that's what I said when I, when I first pointed them out to you, but the reason being is this area is shaved and cut so that the back prop can fit on there, prop guard can fit on there without any problems, okay? So let me just go ahead and get that back, put it in there properly. Oops. I've always said, if you go back on my videos, some of my build videos, I've hated putting prop guards on, prop guards on since day one. I mean, I really have. So I tried to cut these and do this ahead of time so that it would be a little bit easier, and it is a lot easier than when I first started messing with this. Man, prop guards are just like, they give me the runaround. So, especially if they don't have like exact holes, but they have like a, a like a moon, half moon shape where you have this variable where you could turn it a certain way, and then I can never get it to line up properly. It takes me forever. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get this done. We have one more right here. Okay, so that is prop guard for motor number four. And look, you see, it's perfect. It comes right around to the front here, all right? And it stops right here, it's what we've cut. Now, I believe that I mounted this on mine on the top, of, right under the motor instead of under the carbon fiber. Really doesn't matter, so we're gonna see how it goes, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference either way. Um, so let's do motor number two now. And I'm just gonna start putting these small screws in this one plastic piece here because I don't need all four, but this is a good way to keep your storage still organized. So let's go ahead and do that. And like I said, keep these handy somewhere because you will need them down the road most likely for something. Or if you want to fly without prop guards, these are the perfect size screws without prop guards. Okay, this is the first motor we did because I saved that stuff. Let's throw that out. All right, we'll take the other prop guard that has the two holes towards that center bracket, the center brace there. And let's plug this in. Ah. Remember guys, don't tighten it down all the way all right, until you get all the stuff in there. No need to crank down on this thing. It's going to hold just fine. So just kind of take it easy. Okay. 
And even then, just finger tighten it a little bit. I mean, there's no need to go crazy on it. Three and four. Now, is there one more screw left in here? No. So we're gonna take that plastic piece and throw it out. Look at that. It's coming out mean. It's coming out mean. Okay, so now remember guys, we have one side that's cut here and that is designed to go under um, this piece here, okay? But what I was thinking was, as I'm looking at this, I'm going, wait a minute, what if I put the front ones under the carbon fiber and the back ones over? Well, that would layer it to keep them protected perfectly. But hey, you know what? doesn't matter. So you could put this under here, just like that. Or I could have sat it over, and it would have cleared the other one with no problem. And it fits us. I'm just going to keep them under for right now. It makes no difference to me. So let's just do that. Um, and you see if you like it. They are designed to actually sit directly under the motor. But if you don't want to do that, if you like it as a lower profile look, you go right ahead and do that too. That's how I'm going to do this one. <coughs> uh, just only reason I say I'm going to do that right now is because that's how I started it, so it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and do here. Matter of fact, if I find that, I think it was because of one of the props I was using. So if I find that with these new props, I can keep them under the motor like that, then that's exactly what I'll do. And I will try not to have to trim any of these prop guards that much. I may have to trim it right over here, but other than that, it shouldn't be really an issue. So we'll see. You may, you may, by the time some of you guys get yours, I may have changed it around a little bit just not to mess with it, but we'll see, okay? Loosen these up a little bit. Just a little tight there. There we go. Let's put this last one in. All right, guys, we got one more to go. Look at that, looking like a champ right there. That looks gorgeous. I mean, it really is, it really looks good. All right, throw that one out, and we got one last motor uh, prop guard to do, and we are done with that. And then we get to the programming side of things. Okay. End up with 16 good screws here, probably five mil screws that you'll find useful. Whoops, I gotta put the other two in here. They're coming out of this motor, so I shouldn't have closed it yet. Okay, I'll put that one in there. I think that came out of it too. All right, so let's take this out. All right, our last prop guard right here. And there you have it, guys. You have just finished assembling. How oh, man hurts. You've just finished assembling the Tank 95. And look how good that looks. I mean, it is, it is, it came out super, super nice. I'm extremely proud of this build and the way this looks. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, you know how everything goes. We have to plug it in and see if it's gonna work. So, before we do anything else, might as well end this video by powering this up. 
First, let me do a continuity check just to make sure I don't zap myself here. Okay. That's that. Now, let's zoom out a little bit. All right. Get our desk somewhat clean so that we have nothing interfering. There we go. Let's get our power supply and our smoke stopper ready. And let's get this sucker plugged in. Now, let me make sure I have my voltage set right because I use an AC to DC power supply. Oh, no, that's going to blow this thing sky high. Hold on. All right, there we go. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Gorgeous. This sucker is gorgeous, beyond gorgeous. I'm so excited about it. Look at that, guys. All right, so we've done, we've completed the build. Uh, we'll power this off real quickly. Let's get a reading from the scale. Uh, with everything on here. 91.8 grams with the prop guards. Extremely excited about that. And all four screws on the bottom on each side. This is really, uh, this is really a superb build. I'm extremely excited about this. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get into the Betaflight side of this and get it, get the programming, get the motors tested out, make sure everything works. And we'll see you guys back in a little bit.